We are here today with Nancy Brumball. She is the Vice President of Food Service at Second Harvest Food Bank. Hi, thank you so much for having us here. Hi, Commissioner Benita. It's great to be here. So tell us about your culinary school that you have available for, us, for people who want to learn the culinary arts. Great. Uh, so when Second Harvest moved into this new facility eight years ago, we knew we wanted to do some workforce training to help in the lines at the pantries we serve. So we started a culinary training program. Uh, it teaches underemployed or under, unemployed adults that might be economically challenged to learn the culinary arts, to become cooks, and most important, to learn life skills so that they can be successful. Most students that come to us have been unsuccessful in one or two careers in their lives. So we want to teach them to be great culinarians and great cooks, but our life skill training is going to teach them how to manage money, how to solve workplace uh, conflicts, and be successful employees for our local businesses that employ our culinary students. We also provide wraparound services, such as getting childcare set up, uh, if they need SNAP benefits, helping them navigate those waters, and transportation. And transportation and childcare are two of the biggest barriers that cause people not to be successful in their careers. So that training is 16 weeks. It's kind of like a boot camp. They start with tier one and they get a green t-shirt and they learn how to sit in a classroom for eight hours. Most of our students have been out of school for a few years, so that's new to them. They get trained in food safety and sanitation. They learn about kitchen equipment. And then, of course, the life skills uh, training as well. And they graduate into tier two. They get a chef coat. They get a black chef hat. And I can watch their confidence grow through this process. After they learn all the mother sauces and hone their knife skills, they graduate into tier three. They get a white chef cap. And now they're working in our full service catering department. So they're learning about the sense of urgency at events and also working under pressure and with different people other than their classmates. We've had 400 plus graduates from our program. Pre-pandemic, we had 100% placement rate, but we managed to place 35 students through the pandemic. And I remember the day I had to come down and send staff home when the pandemic hit, and we had a new class that was just starting a culinary adventure. And when I told them we have to pause the school, I was met with tears and disappointment. So we quickly ran off copies of all the work for the week. We made food boxes that had all the ingredients of the recipes they would be working on in school at Second Harvest that week and sent them home to do the work and they would take pictures of what they cooked and send it to our chefs to be graded. So we really went virtual before we knew what virtual was, but we never shut our program down. We graduated three classes, actually the fourth just graduated through the pandemic, of successful culinarians that are ready to work. And when our hospitality industry comes back on its feet, uh, we'll have graduates ready to go and start their careers in the hospitality industry. We have graduates that have gone on to be successful with their own catering companies. They own their own bakeries, their own food trucks. And what I love the most is when I see a graduate hiring new students out of our program. So that's kind of the heart of the food service operation here at Second Harvest is that culinary training program. Now, to support that program, we offer full service catering, uh, fine dining from scratch, and the students get to help us prepare the meals. And the biggest question I ask, uh, people ask me, is, is, is it donated food? Well, no, it's not. All of our food and all of our programs at Second Harvest and the food service side are sourced through local reputable vendors. So. We have our full service catering department, Catering for Good, that supports our students and our program. We also have a production kitchen, which is in a facility mercy kitchen down the road that produces vended school meals. We provide suppers for after school programs, uh, early head starts, uh, daycares, and they produce about 25,000 meals a day over at that facility 
and it's something to see. And what great experience for our students to go work in a high volume kitchen like that. So if they want a career with one of the hospitals or a, a, a adult uh, facility, they have that large batch training that's necessary for them to be successful. And our third social enterprise is Spoonful of Hope. It's a food product retail line. We have honey for good, soup for good, uh, different varieties of cookies. And all of these students play a part in that process as well. They might help us package the honey or roll out and bake off the cookies, but it gives them a wide net of experience throughout different food service areas. So we've graduated over 400 students and uh, hope to be able to continue the program and have more graduates in. Uh, they do need to be 18 or older. We are a licensed program, so if you want to go to Valencia or another higher education facility, once you graduate, you will transfer credit hours with you. Therefore, you're not only a food pantry, but you're also workforce training and education, trying to get people back on their feet, yeah. which is really great. It's very impressive, too, all the work that you do here. Tell people how they can apply if they wanted to apply, how they could get involved, your catering, if they wanted to support it through your catering services. So you can go on the website, uh, feedhelpnow.org. You can volunteer in our warehouse, sorting food for the community. You can volunteer to help with catering events. You can volunteer to package meals that are going out to our community and our Mercy Kitchen facility. Uh, always looking for donors and supporters or, or advocacy support. So there are many ways you can give uh, back to Second Harvest Food Bank to help us transform lives in the community. And our culinary training program is one of many programs that we do at Second Harvest. Uh, we're just a food bank and so much more. Uh, it's just check out the website and see all the great things we're doing here at Second Harvest. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell our viewers before we end our so If you know somebody that is looking for a career change or needs to skill up some training to get a more uh, livable wage, please send them our way. They can go on again, foodhelpnow.org, go to our culinary training program. There's applications, it talks about our program. It has great stories about student graduates. Every student we graduate has a great story and uh, see the impact you make through your support of Second Harvest in our community. Thank you for all the great work that you're doing here. Thank you for giving back to the community. And I know during our previous discussions, you were saying this is the kind of job with, where you hope that your job won't be here anymore, which is really great, just the heart that you put into this. So thank you so much for having us here, for everything that you're doing. Well, thank you, Commissioner Lamita. Thanks.